solve this transcendental equation, x to the power of y, equals y to the power of x, where x and y are positive real numbers. Clearly, there are trivial solutions, x equals y equals t, where t is greater than zero. Now we assume that, x does not equal y. Let y equal t x, where t is greater than zero, and t does not equal one. Then substitute y equals t x in the original equation, we have, x to the power of t x, equals t x all to the power of x. Take the x root on both sides of the equation. We know that, a to the power of m, all to the power of n, is equal to, a to the power of m n. By applying the power of a power rule, we have, x to the power of t x times 1 over x, equals t x all to the power of x times 1 over x. x times 1 over x equals 1. So we have, x to the power of t equals t x. Now divide the equation by x. We know that, a to the power of m, over a to the power of n, is equal to, a to the power of m minus n. By applying the quotient of powers rule, we have, x to the power of t minus 1 equals t. Take the t minus 1 root on both sides of the equation. t minus 1 times 1 over t minus 1, equals 1. So we have, x equals t to the power of 1 over t minus 1. As y equals t x, so y equals t times t to the power of 1 over t minus 1. We know that, a to the power of m, times a to the power of n, is equal to, a to the power of m plus n. By applying the product of powers rule, t times t to the power of 1 over t minus 1, equals t to the power of 1 plus 1 over t minus 1, so y equals t to the power of t over t minus 1. With the assumption that, x does not equal y, we have, x y equal t to the power of 1 over t minus 1, t to the power of t over t minus 1. Now we verify whether they are solutions of the original equation. The left hand side of the equation is equal to, t to the power of 1 over t minus 1, all to the power of, t to the power of t over t minus 1. By the power of a power rule, which is equal to, t to the power of 1 over t minus 1, times t to the power of t over t minus 1. t to the power of t over t minus 1, can be written as, t times t to the power of 1 over t minus 1. So the left hand side of the equation is equal to, t to the power of t over t minus 1, times t to the power of 1 over t minus 1. The right hand side of the equation is equal to, t to the power of t over t minus 1, all to the power of, t to the power of 1 over t minus 1. By the power of a power rule, which is equal to, t to the power of t over t minus 1, times t to the power of 1 over t minus 1, which is equal to the left hand side of the equation. Hence, they are solutions of the original equation. It has infinitely many solutions. Next we will see some example solutions. A solutions for t equals 2. As 2 to the power of 1 over 2 minus 1, is equal to 2. And 2 to the power of 2 over 2 minus 1, is equal to 2 squared, which is 4. So the solution for t equals 2 is 2 4. A solutions for t equals a half. As a half to the power of 1 over a half minus 1, is equal to a half to the power of negative 2, which is equal to 2 squared, which is 4. And a half to the power of a half over a half minus 1, is equal to, a half to the power of negative 1, which is 2. So the solution for t equals a half is 4 2. A solutions for t equals 3. As 3 to the power of 1 over 3 minus 1, is equal to root 3. And 3 to the power of 3 over 3 minus 1, is equal to, 3 to the power of 3 over 2, which is 3 root 3. So the solution for t equals 3 is root 3, 3 root 3. A solutions for t equals a third. As a third to the power of 1 over a third minus 1, is equal to a third to the power of negative 3 over 2, which is equal to 3 to the power of 3 over 2, which is 3 root 3. And a third to the power of, a third over a third minus 1, is equal to, a third to the power of negative a half, which is root 3. 
so the solution for t equals a half is 3 root 3, root 3. Have you seen patterns for this parametric solution? We know that, the parameter t is greater than 0, as both x and y are positive real numbers. And t does not equal 1, as x does not equal y. So t can take values greater than 1, or values less than 1, greater than 0. It is evident that, the equation is symmetric in x and y. So whenever uv is a solution, vu is also a solution. These solutions are obtained by setting t equals w, and t equals 1 over w.